Aries, welcome. Today we're going to be doing Aries dealing with Taurus. This is all Aries in a relationship with Taurus, Aries in love with Taurus, Aries compatibility with Taurus, um, Taurus dealing with an Aries. We're going to be picking seven cards. We're going to start with the energy oracle, and this is going to be like the theme of your relationship, Aries and Taurus. Aries and Taurus, one card for Aries and Taurus, please. Aries and Taurus, please, one card for Aries and Taurus. Aries and Taurus, please, one card for Aries and Taurus. Aries and Taurus, please, one card for Aries and Taurus. Thank you. Wow. Appreciation. Isn't that beautiful? Look how beautiful that is. I see that you appreciate each other. I see that there's a lot of room here for you to grow. I see, I see Taurus here standing in their power. I, I feel, I feel I feel like there's new beginnings here. There could be some conflict, though, that you could have a lot of arguments. There could be some arguments or um, debates, competition here. Especially in January and May. This is the divine feminine aspect of Aries and Taurus relationship. I need three cards for the divine feminine aspect. Thank you. There's two. One more card for the divine feminine aspect. Thank you. So in the past, I see that there's a lot of juggling, like you were trying so hard to balance things out and try to gain some sort of routine, some sort of stability here. I see that you were just overwhelmed and there was, there was a lack of balance. I see that, you know, you weren't working together here. You were blocking the road instead of building a new pathway. I see this as being presently. It's just, I don't feel like you're building here. We are progressing. We have two and then we have three. But three's in the reverse. So this is in the past. So you were juggling and now you're just blocking the road. There's no teamwork here. There's nowhere else that we can go. That's a dead end. I see presently it's just a dead end. In the future, I see that you're not losing any sleep over this. <laughs> I mean, you're not. Uh, you're sleeping really good at night. Look at you over here. Just as cozy as can be. Just as cozy as can be. You're not losing any sleep. There's no more anxiety. You're able to move on. You're you're past this. You're past this. And you're 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 moving on and you're appreciating. You're appreciating all of the lessons that the divine masculine aspect of this relationship taught you. So the divine feminine, I see in the past you were trying to balance things out so, so hard. You were working so hard at this. And I see that there's just a block in the road. There's nowhere else that this could move. There's no teamwork. You just couldn't progress. So you, in the future, you're not losing any sleep. You're getting over it. You're sleeping like a baby and you're appreciating the time that you had. But I see you being single. Aries, Divine Masculine. Aries and Taurus Relationship, Divine Masculine. Thank you. So this wants to be passed. Two more, please. Two more. Two more. Oh, no, Thank you. 
one more. One more. One more. And we'll take the one on the top. Alright, so in the past, I see somebody was partying way too much. I mean, this is a live-free attitude. This person will get in a car and go to the beach. But this person didn't plan, like, am I going to pack underwear for the beach? Am I going to have money for gas to fill along the way to the beach? This person just goes. It's very impulsive. Um, I see that... This person wants to conquer. This person is a flirt. A very naturally entertaining person with a very strong ego. This person loves sports and loves action. Presently, I don't see this as working out. We have two nines and both of them are in the reverse. So we have a nine presently here in the divine masculine, and then we have a divine here in the in the feminine aspect. Um, so we have attainment here, but it's in the reverse. So you're not attaining something. This is stability. You're not attaining stability here. There's an instability, and here you're not attaining communication, and you're just accepting it. There, you have to. So you're being forced to accept this presently. There's no attainment. You're not getting what, what you had worked for. You're not reaping the benefits of what you worked for. And there's just a dead end. And your wishes aren't fulfilled. There could be alcoholism, partying too hard, it's overindulgence. We have another nine. We have three nines all in the reverse. You're not going to attain anything here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there's no there's no attainment here. This isn't ultimately compatible. Let's go into the mirror. Come with me and you'll see inside Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Look inside, you can't hide from Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Welcome Aries and Taurus, relationship compatibility dealing with. I see that in the past position, there was somebody who just wanted to conquer. This is a player vibe and this person is struggling so hard juggling their finances juggling this relationship with their job and they're overwhelmed they're losing their footing they're losing their balance here and they're not manifesting these energies they just don't mesh and I don't see any attainment here. You're not getting the hard work that you put into this. There's a dead end. There's a block. There's too many people involved. There could be, there could have been like cheating in this relationship. There's three people here. And I see that you're not losing any sleep over it. You're sleeping like an absolute baby. Look at you. Sleeping like a baby. Your wishes aren't ultimately fulfilled. I see that the divine masculine wanted something originally, then got bored. They got bored. The communication wasn't where they wanted it to be. There was a lack of appreciation. So I see the divine feminine. The appreciation was there. This can be altered because the cards are here. But if we do alter it, guess what? We end with the divine feminine in a state of constant anxiety, losing sleep with their minds spiraling in never ending circles of what if and what are they doing? Never knowing, never knowing for sure what they're doing. Always on edge, always defensive, always losing sleep, up at night, worried, 
out of their mind, and eventually this is going to end. If the divine masculine's wishes are ultimately fulfilled. So do we really want to change it presently? Because we can. We can make some changes here, but this is where it's going to lead. If we leave it alone, if we let nature take its course, and we appreciate the memories that we had, the divine feminine isn't losing any sleep, is ultimately regaining their power, sleeping like a baby. But the divine masculine is no longer getting their wishes fulfilled. So it's up to you. If you enjoyed this and like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, please like, comment, share. It does help support this channel. Have a wonderful day. My name's Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you.